Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So here we've got the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Uh, we've got different configurations for both devices. So this is the OnePlus 8 in glacial green, and then this is, or OnePlus 8 Pro in, in glacial green, and this is the OnePlus 8 in interstellar glow. And what interstellar glow is, is it has very shiny reflective, hello, um, and it kind of shifts the color with the light that kind of is firing at it. Um, but yeah, so you you can already tell these two devices are kind of different. If you look at them side by side, uh, you can kind of tell that the uh, OnePlus 8 Pro is a larger, longer device. Um, from my experience, the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8 both have gorgeous displays. Um, they both look really good. Uh, I've played games on both of these, taken photos with both of them, watched videos, taken videos, kind of used the phones as you would with a review. Um, but if you'll notice, the OnePlus 8 Pro actually has more camera sensors. So you have a three array here, and then you've got an extra fourth. That's the telephoto. So you have, you know, this similar kind of OnePlus camera array. But what's interesting is, um, and I'm kind of step away for a sec. They moved away from that with the OnePlus 7T, and then they moved back to it with the uh, Pro 5G. So these are the 7s, 7Ts, and I've even got a Pro laying around. Um, I don't know what I did with that one. But uh, this kind of elongated camera module is kind of a very OnePlus design uh, right down the middle. Other, can, other smartphone manufacturers do do this, but um, this has kind of been their thing. And I also noticed, um, you can't really tell unless you put it side by side, but they have absolutely changed the OnePlus logo on the back of the phones now. Um, it's a different font, and I noticed that when I first got the phone. So if you look closely, it's a different font. Anyways, uh, in terms of using devices, I'm pretty happy with the battery life. Um, I think the most important thing for most people is performance, and these phones fly. Um, I have all the latest phones. I've got, you know, iPhone 11 Pros. Um, I've got all the Samsungs, S20 Ultra, etc. cetera. Uh, 120 Hertz screen really does deliver. Um, but uh, it's gorgeous. It's a really nice looking screen. It's probably one of the nicest screens I've seen on both phones. Um, I've spent more time with the Pro than I have the the regular OnePlus 8, and that's just because I'm I tend to lean towards the Pro, even though um, you can't actually get the Pro in that color, which is kind of a disappointment. That's one of my biggest gripes is that you can't you don't really have choice of color. Um, for example, oh, oops. For example, uh, I've got the Interstellar Glow here. That's a 12 gig 256, and then this is in 8 gig 128 so this has actually got less ram and less storage but it's a faster phone because um it's got well not faster necessarily it's actually technically a quicker phone but this one's got the better camera module on it and a bigger screen so um both have you know finger under screen fingerprint sensors um from what i my personal view uh i like the size and and feel of the regular OnePlus 8. It's just much more comfortable in the hand and I apologize the fingerprint means I use it. Um, but I like the screen size of this one. I wish I could get this size in that hand feel. Um, and I wish I could get that color in this body too. But in general, um, the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro are great phones. I think the big issue for a lot of people is that um, you know, OnePlus keeps notching up the price of their devices and the category that they fall in. And I think a lot of people will be pretty happy with the OnePlus 8 and the price of the OnePlus 8. But the issue is, is that this starts at $1,000. Well, yeah, it's just under $1,000. And that's... This has the good camera on it. Like this one takes really good photos. I'm actually impressed by how good the photos are. Um, the one thing about the photography about of this phone is that the low light is, performance is not that great and the zoom isn't as good as some of the other flagship phones. Granted, those phones are more expensive, but um, 
I also wish that it had an auto macro mode so that when you open the camera and something's really close and you take a macro shot, it switches to the macro lens. Um, the reason why I say that is because um, if you don't, then um, what happens is you kind of get an out of focus blurry image. It doesn't look good. And um, yeah, I, 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 it's hard to demonstrate. Um, it's one of those things where you have to use the phone to see it. But um, I would say uh, if budget is not an issue, definitely get the Pro. Um, but if you're definitely more budget conscious, that the, the 8 is definitely a better value. Um, but the camera's just not as good. Other than that, uh, I'm pretty happy with the OnePlus 8 in general. It's Snapdragon 865 top tier chip. Um, you know, starting is at 8 gigs of RAM, which is still pretty good. And um, just no little headphone jack, but I think people are kind of getting over that now. Um, but yeah, in general, you know, there's there's quite a bit between the Pro and the 8 that make it worth the upgrade. Um, and if you even look closely, you can see the camera bumps are even a different size. So the camera bump on the Pro is actually a little taller. Let me see if I can get that angle. You can see that. Yeah, you can clearly tell the camera bumps are not the same. Um, but what you can do is put a, a case on it which OnePlus makes great cases. Highly recommend you get it if you do get one of these phones. Um, they did, they redid this uh, sandstone. Um, they also have like a Kevlar style case, which is really nice. I like the feel of these. It's really nice, comfortable, it has good grip too. And there's also a carbon fiber for it as well. Um, I love the carbon fiber case. I have one on this one. Um, as you can tell, it, it took a little bit of damage, but uh, the carbon fiber cases are awesome. They feel really nice and they're super thin, but they're still protective. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I really like the new OnePlus 8 and I recommend it unless you are really a big um, camera fan because then you have to go for the Pro. Um, but if you care about low light, um, I'm not really particularly sure that... Um, it's the best for low light. I think Huawei and Samsung are probably still better. Um, but for daylight, I think uh, this might be the best out of the bunch so far. All right. Uh, other than that, thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you guys again soon.